Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another ColourPop video for you, and we have a new collection launching on ColourPop Thursday. As I always say, they have a new collection pretty much every single Thursday without a beat. You can expect something. And I just did a video on last week's collection, which was like the fun cowgirl collection. I thought it was adorable. I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out because I love that collection. But we have another collection, which I'm also really loving so far. And on here it says resting beach face and there's a ton of stuff in here including a new mega palette sorry my hair is being crazy that's not the only thing that's in this collection though we actually have for first time in a long time bronzers from ColourPop and we also have some new shades in their glassy lips so we're going to go over everything i'm going to swatch everything for you i know you want to see swatches and we're going to do a full look with the collection kind of gather my thoughts here but how fun is this box it came in a giant box this time and it has a little beach on it so it's a very beachy summer collection but let's get into first up the eyeshadow palette so this is another one of their mega palettes which has usually 30 shades in each one uh, a lot of people absolutely love these because you're getting a lot for your money with these and I don't always get the most excited about them because sometimes they're just like a little bit much for me. It's usually neutrals, kind of the same old, same old color schemes over and over, but I thought this one was very fun, very different for them, and a lot of people are really excited about this one. So it's actually called Gettin' Fresh, and actually has like this almost holographic gold to green. I don't know if it catches the light here, but it's so fun. The back also has it. And then we have the eyeshadow colors. Look at these, you guys. This is so much fun to me. Now, I know that with these mega palettes, usually ColourPop will include some neutrals and then some colors, so you can kind of mix and match what you want to do. And this kind of color is v giving me very green, so very limey greens, which I've been loving lately from ColourPop. We also have some neutrals in here. There is like one or two pops of pink as well and I personally love color combos of pink and green and I love orange and green so I'm really loving the whole color scheme of this palette I even think they could have added a couple more like brighter pinks in there than just this one here and I think that could have been really fun and maybe a couple more brighter oranges but overall it's a gorgeous palette and it has the mixture of the colors and the mixture of the neutrals so it's great for every day or great if you want to mix things up once in a while. Now there is a lot of shades in here. I don't know if I could fit them all on my arms so I think we'll do half and half sharing the swatches of the collection. So this palette I'm thinking is going to be $34. That's usually what the mega palettes run. So $34, 30 shades. It's a really good deal and I just think this one is so fun for the summertime so that is the palette let's get into the bronzers so i'm really excited that they are launching some new matte bronzers so this is what the box looks like it has the little beach on it and these are actually very large so this is what the actual packaging looks like they're about as big as their super shock like highlights that come in this big packaging so they're very large eight grams of product or 0.28 ounces i'll go ahead and swatch all the shades for you there's actually a really nice range from fair to deeper tones in here and they are described as light as air pressed powder that instantly adds warmth depth and dimension to your complexion with a natural matte finish in six and shades so first up I would say this one's probably the lightest it's the most cool toned one in the collection and this one is Villa Beach it's super soft super creamy and it is swatched on top you won't really be able to see it much on me this one kind of blends into my skin right now but if you are super fair you're definitely gonna want this one because it does have a cooler tone let me see if I can build that up anymore because I just feel like that's super light you guys can at least see a little bit of the pigment it just blends in with my skin <laughs> the next one this one's pretty light as well it's a little more warm though this one is Miramar Beach and this one to me I'm not really a fan of the color it looks like peach almost it's a little bit too light and it just looks like weirdly peach and like orangey on the skin so I'm not a huge fan of that one but maybe if you're super fair it might work out for you so there it is a swatch so these two are very light it just depends what undertone you want if you want a cooler undertone or if you want a warmer undertone okay next in the collection kind of gets more into these medium lighter tones this is Summerland Beach 
And this is a really nice medium, very warm tone bronzer. So this one is the Summerland Beach. Next up, we have this medium tone, which is Silver Strand Beach. Definitely gets into those medium tones with that one. So this is a very red toned one, and this is Pacific Beach. Definitely a very reddish, warm tone. And lastly, the deepest in the collection, this one is Moonlight Beach here and swatch so it definitely has a pretty good range I would say I feel like the mediums could be a little bit deeper than they are because I feel like this is pretty light and then it just goes to deep right away so I feel like the, they could work a little bit on the medium tones but overall it does have a really nice range but I do feel like they are very warm and a little orangey looking this is not the very first time Colourpop has done bronzers because they've also done these powder bronzers before I just quickly wanted to go over these were in the coconut collection I don't think you can still get these but in case you do have them these to me are definitely more cool tones so they don't really compare in color but this is coconut beach they pretty much feel the same to me formula wise I know that these were pretty good and then we have talk to the palm which is another cooler tone bronzer so those are the other two swatch they don't really compare at all color wise i kind of like these colors a little bit more but the formula is really nice on the new ones okay so lastly in the collection we have a few of these so glassy glosses which are infused with jojoba oil to nourish lips and comes in six new nude shades to deliver a crystal like shine so they're just a really shiny gloss basically so the first shade here we have is solana and this is just your basic neutral color it's not going to have a ton of pigment we also have another neutral. This one actually might be a little bit um, lighter. This is La Jolla. So I'm getting a theme here that all of these products are named after different beaches. La Jolla is the only one that I know. I'm not very good. I'm from the Midwest, so obviously we're landlocked. We don't really have any cool beaches. So that's La Jolla, a little lighter, cooler nude. Next up, we have Newport, another California beach that I know. So there is Newport, a nice medium, warm tone. And then we have Huntington. These have to, maybe all the glosses are definitely California beaches. I know that one too. But I'm not sure about the bronzers. That is Huntington swatched. These two almost look identical. This one is Dana Point. I love these brown ones because they look kind of scary in the tube, but once you put them on, they're so stunning on the lips because they sheer out a bit and just add a really nice natural color. And it last but not least is San Clement. So some really pretty warmer neutrals that match really well with the bronzers in the palette. So that is everything in the collection, the eyeshadow palette, the bronzers, and lip glosses. I'm going to show you guys a little demo, um, trying out all the products, and kind of let you guys know my thoughts as we go. So let's get into the look. Okay guys, we're going to dive into the palette here right away. And I kind of want to play and do somewhat of a greenish brown look, playing with the neutrals and the pops of green in the palette. So we'll start out with a transition shade. So I think I will use this one, which is called Slick. And I'm going to place this in the crease. I'm just using a really small brush to build up color. This is the Sephora 24 brush. I'm going to deepen that up a bit. I kind of want to go into this orangey shade called Hands Down. Also taking that in the crease. I always feel like orange and green does look really good together. Going in with a bigger crease brush, we're going to use this dark green called Hot Take in the outer corner. It's like a green, almost like brown. So just kind of placing that down. This color blends really nicely. I know sometimes these kind of cooler browns can come off a little more patchy, but I think this looks really good. On my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use That's Life mixed with a tiny bit of hot take that green and just taking anything of that orange that's left on this little crease brush to blend it out a bit so for the lid i'm loving this shade here i think it's going to go perfect with this kind of brown and orange look because it's like a duochrome this is no doubt so just patting that on a just flat brush here and we're going to place this pretty much on the middle go towards the center 
of the eye. And we'll go in the inner corner with the first shade in the palette called Striking. And this will go in the very inner corner. I'm going to clean that up with some concealer. I don't know if I'm going to put lashes on or just mascara, so we'll find out when I see you in one second. All right, I did put on some lashes, and now we are going to test out a couple a couple of the bronzers in the collection. I figured since there is a few different shades, I would try one on each cheek, so we might look a little crazy in this video, but that's okay. So I'm actually gonna use two of the more medium toned ones because I do have self tan on, and I swatched the lighter ones. You guys saw them swatch. I just am not a huge fan of those shades right now for what my skin is like. Um, like one was way too light orange, one was way too cool that almost looked like a powder like a setting powder so we're gonna try two of these medium tone ones today so I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one the best this one is the Summerland Beach so I'll dip my bronzer brush in I'm using the BK Beauty 103 and I'll apply it on this side of the face all right so the formula is really smooth very blendable it's not too overly pigmented when you put it on. It's kind of like how the blushes are where um, they definitely build up. So this is a very like warm tone. I'm just going to build up a little bit more, but yeah, it's super warm. But I feel like it looks pretty good on the skin. There's no muddiness, no patchiness going on. So that's good. I feel like it's blending right in. So I'm going to wipe that product off. I'm going to use the same brush because this is just my go-to bronzer brush and I'm just wiping it in this little color switch so there's no color on there. And we'll test out the next shade which I think is a smidge darker. This one is Silver Strand Beach. I can tell it's a little darker. I didn't have to build it quite as much as I did with the other one so I would say this, I think it's called Summerland. The one on this side is probably going to be my go-to because this one definitely is pulling a even more orange on me so a little dark for me unless you want that ultra sun-kissed bronze sometimes you can pull off those warmer bronzers in the summertime that is the summerland that is the silver strand yeah i definitely prefer this side of the face this one's just a little bit more contoured but I think those other two lighter shades were going to be a little too light for now, but I'll definitely have to test those again once my tan starts wearing off. So, yeah, I do. I like this one a lot. Okay, so for lips, I actually have never tried these yet, which is surprising because I remember they came out with those, they're like plastic packaging marbled palettes. I still never got a chance to use the collection, so we're going to try this out, although I don't know what the formula is like. I'm guessing it's just supposed to be a super shiny gloss, and there's a ton of darker shades in this range, so I'm thinking we'll use one of those today and see like how pigmented it is, how sheer it is on the lips. So I'm using the shade Dan Dana Point, I think, and we're just going to apply right on without any lip liner. Definitely sheer, as you guys can see. Just trying to build up that color a little bit. It is building now. But yeah, it seems like a really nice lip gloss. I actually like this color a lot. So don't be afraid of those darker glosses because they look so pretty, like actually on the lips because they're not going to look so dark like this in person. It's a really pretty rosy, like brownie neutral. So here is the makeup. We're nice and bronze. We got a really fun green and neutral eye look. Let me get into kind of my thoughts on the collection so far and like my first impressions. Okay guys, so I am really enjoying this collection. Of course, I love the eyeshadow palette. I think this is such a fun one, especially if you've been wanting to try some more greens. I know a couple of you guys mentioned that it's kind of like the big version with some neutrals of the In the Limelight palette from them, um, but I just, I don't really think there's going to be a full palette that matches exactly, but if you guys love the lime greens that were in In the Limelight, you'll really like this palette for sure, plus you get a ton more stuff 
stuff like the neutrals in there mixed together I just did one look today because I just wanted to see how the browns and greens kind of played together but like I could totally do like a basic neutral look as well with this we have some fun at copper tones that look stunning just everyday shades if you want to do your everyday colors but then you can play add in some of the greens the pinks and just have fun so I am really liking this color scheme I would say this might be it's a toss-up. This one might be close to my favorite because I just feel like there's a lot you can do with it. I absolutely loved the rose one as well that they did. The smoke and roses, that one is pretty high up there, but this one might take the place of that. The more I use it, I just feel like I'm really going to love these colors. So I definitely think it's worth picking up. I enjoyed playing with it. I didn't really have any issues with the formula here. It's beautiful. So definitely recommend snagging this one on Thursday. I just think it's a fun, unique color scheme that we haven't really seen them do all in all together. And then actually very impressed with their bronzers. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel. I really enjoy the quality of them. Like the formula is really, really nice. I think they could definitely work on some more of the colors there though. But I am glad that they do seem to have a pretty inclusive shade range with them, but maybe they will expand and add some more colors. Cause like I said, I prefer my bronzers a little more neutral. But I definitely think Summerlin Beach is my color, which is on this side. But this is a little more warm. This one looks good too, the silver strand one. But I do like this one a little bit more. I really enjoy those. I don't know what the price is going to be on those. But I definitely think they're worth trying out. Unless you really, really want a cool tone bronzer, then probably pass. And then the So Glassy lip colors. I love this one that we used today. The Dana Point. I think it's such a nice, just everyday kind of shade. I love the rosiness of it and the gloss it gives. I just think it'll go with so many things and I was a little nervous about it with how dark the color was but it's so beautiful on the lips. I really enjoy this one. So these are very pretty but they are they don't feel like a super new formula to me. They just kind of feel like any other lip gloss but this is a nice color if you don't have anything like this one. But that is kind of it for my thoughts on this collection so far. I just wanted to go ahead and quickly get this one up for you guys so you guys can see swatches and see it demoed on since we like just found out about it, I think yesterday. But yeah, it should be launching Thursday, this week Thursday at 10 a.m. PST. If you guys want to come back to my video and use my link, my affiliate code is 5 Janae. you sure can. I'll try to do a community post when it is available as well on my page so you guys can snag it too. But yeah, I really like this one. I will say, I'm not sure what's going on here if this was like that. This is really thin, like it's almost wearing off. I don't know if that's how it is or if I smudged it or what the deal is, but it's almost like fading there. That's weird. So I don't know if that's going to rub off. Maybe it was like that. I have no clue. I don't think it was like that in the beginning. I think it's just like coming off. So that's annoying. But anyways, that's really my only gripe with that one. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Let me know if you guys will be picking this one up. If you guys are into more of the pinky colors, definitely check out my last ColourPop review with the one and done collection. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.